One of the criminals said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, today you will be with me in paradise. And just two, three quick things, thoughts that I want to leave you with. The first is, in the country where I was born, in Great Britain, there's only about 8% of the whole population that goes to church of any kind. Because other people have told you, how can you believe in something you cannot see? And I said, what is this room full of? The air. The air. And who believes it is there? But you cannot see it. And why do you believe it is there then if you cannot see it? Because you're breathing it, of course. Because we're alive. We know the air is there. Or we would be dead. And even more, we believe that the air is made of oxygen and nitrogen, is it? How do we believe that? We believe that because teachers and scientists have told us. So why would we believe a teacher or a scientist and not believe God himself? You also told me at the beginning, you're like music, you're like different kinds of music. On your sheet, some of you wrote art and sports. But some people say we were not made by God, we're just animals that have grown up. So what if an animal came into this gym now, a pig or a cow? The cow is not going to pay any attention to the pictures on the screen. The cow is not going to listen to the music or dance around or clap his hands, her hands. The cow, yeah, we can do that because we're alive and we're human beings, we're not just animals. interested in two things, eating and reproducing. What's so different, you're saying? Yes, we're interested in those things. We're interested in those two things too, but so much more. What is the point of art? What is the point of music? There is no point except that we ourselves, in our heart, in our soul, we reach out for beauty and greatness. We are really reaching out for the awesomeness of God and for the place that we want to spend forever. Jesus said, in my Father's house there are many rooms. When I used to be in a rock band years ago, when I would have a hit record, maybe I'd be on TV or in a stadium and I would go to my dressing room with a star on the door and my name, Sal Solo. But in heaven, there's a door with a star and it has your name. Because Jesus made it himself specially for you and nobody else can occupy that room except for you. And so maybe you fail, maybe you mess up, maybe you do the things that you hate, but ultimately, if you come back, to him and you say Jesus remember me a sinner then he will say to you my friend whatever your name is he knows your name I don't but he will say my friend because you believe in me then you will be with me in paradise that's why I lived and that's why I died